Let's find the mass of one atom of silver, that's Ag. And really, all we're going to do is we're going to take the molar mass of the substance. In this case, it's the atomic mass because it's just an atom. It's the average atomic mass. And we're just going to divide that by Avogadro's number. That'll give us the mass of one atom of silver. So let's do it. You can think of this average atomic mass here as having the units grams per mole. So we have 107.87 grams in one mole of silver. And we're going to multiply that by a conversion factor because we know that one mole of any substance, that's Avogadro's number of particles. So when we do the math here, moles on the bottom and top, they cancel out and we're left with grams. But again, really all we're doing is we're taking this average atomic mass and dividing it by Avogadro's number. That means we'll get the mass of an average silver atom. When we divide 107.87 by Avogadro's number, we get, and the units, they're going to be grams. If you wanted to have this in kilograms, the mass of one atom of silver in kilograms, you would just divide this by a thousand. So you'd have 1.79 times 10 to the negative 25th. Finally, if you were given an isotope of silver, say you were given silver 109, so the isotope of silver, silver 109, instead of this average atomic mass here, you would use the mass number for silver 109 for the isotope, put that in, and divide by Avogadro's number. That would give you the mass of one atom of silver 109, the isotope silver 109. This is Dr. B with the mass of one atom of silver, AG. Thanks for watching.